Good afternoon, Abraham. It is. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Several years ago, over 20 years ago, I had this magnificent ability to heal with my hands. There were a number of times when someone would be in pain, and when I would apply my hands, my hands would get very warm, and the pain would go away. So, are you aware of how you came about that? In other words, what happened that caused you to summon and allow? I'm not aware of that, no. I am aware that I made a conscious decision when I was entering into business, and business was such that I had the opportunity to speak to hundreds and thousands of people, and with the spoken word, I could inspire and I could motivate in the seminar business. I believe I made a conscious decision to set aside the ability that I had to heal with my hands so that I could focus on structuring a seminar business and that eventually, at some point in the future, this ability would return. Then would it all come together at the same time, I'd be able to inspire, to motivate, to educate, and also to heal. We agree with everything that you're saying here, and we think the time is now. And, and let us tell you how it all fits together. The reason we ask you the question we did is because nothing just happens to you. Nothing comes to you that you haven't asked for. And this is the most important part. There are many things that you're asking for that the potential of realizing has already come. In other words, the larger part of you is already living it. And so when you ask, it is given, but you're not letting it in. And so that's why we phrased the question in the way that we did. Are you aware of what the combination of desire and allowing was that was allowing that. In other words, you had desire or it wouldn't have been there and you had expectation or it would not have been there. 